Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will understand what is drift current, diffusion current and total current caused by drift and diffusion currents. So friends, let's get started. In case of semiconductors, two types of currents flow. First is drift current and second one is diffusion current. So first start with drift current. So friends, before understanding this drift current concept, we should first understand what drift means. Drift is the slow movement of object towards something. And in this case of drift current concept, it is the flow of electric current or movement of charge carriers, which is due to applied external electric field. And friends, in a semiconductor, there are two types of charge carriers, electrons and holes. And friends, now we will understand this with the help of simple diagram. And here, friends, we already know that like charges repel and unlike charges attract each other. Hence, the electrons are negatively charged and attracted towards positive terminal of the battery. And these holes are positively charged and attracted towards negative terminal of the battery. And in a semiconductor device, the electrons always try to move in a straight line towards positive terminal of the battery. But due to collision with atoms, they change the direction of flow. Each time the electron strikes an atom, it bounces back in a random direction. And the applied voltage does not stop this collision. But it causes electrons to drift towards positive terminal of the battery. And due to this drifting of electrons, current will start flowing in the semiconductor device. Now friends, let's see about what is drift velocity. It is nothing but in a semiconductor material, electrons move in random directions. When these electrons are subjected to an electric field, that random motion will be converted into a particular motion and they slowly drift in one direction, in the direction of electric field. The net velocity at which these electrons drift is known as drift velocity. And this drift velocity is denoted as Vd and it is given by the expression mu into E, where E is the electric field applied across the semiconductor device and mu is the mobility of charge carriers. Now friends, let's see this relationship here. Current I in semiconductor is equal to NEAVD, where N is the density of charge carriers, and E is the charge of electrons, and A is given as cross-sectional area on the material. VD is what? VD is the drift velocity. Now if I divide this I with A, now I by A is current density, where current density is given as amount of electric current flowing per unit cross-sectional area and it is denoted by capital J. Now we have here J is equal to NEVD and friends we have already discussed that drift velocity VD is given as mu into E and by this formula here VD can be replaced as mu into E and since we know that semiconductor contains both electrons and holes and in this case, the current density for electrons is denoted as Jn. And current density for holes is denoted by Jp. And here for electrons, Jn is equal to Nu mu n into E. Where n is the concentration of electrons and this small e is the charge. And it is replaced by Q for understanding purpose. And mu n is the mobility for electrons. And E is the applied electric field across semiconductor device. And similarly for holes, here JP is equal to PQ into mu P into E, where P is the concentration of holes and Q is the charge on the holes. And mu P is for mobility of the holes. And E is the applied external electric field. And its unit is ampere per centimeter square because it is the current divided by cross-sectional area. And here, this is the current density for electrons and this is the current density for holes. Now, if we want to find the combined current density in the semiconductor due to these two charge carriers, it will be the addition of these two. And from this addition, we can take Q and E common. And in the bracket, we have N mu N plus P mu P. This is the combined equation of current density due to electrons and holes in semiconductor device. And friends, we also know that there is an another expression for current density, where current density is equal to sigma into E, where sigma is the conductivity and E is the electric field. 
if we compare this sigma into E expression by our previous expression, then we can see that this part n mu n plus p mu p can be replaced by sigma and its unit is ampere per centimeter square because it is the current divided by cross-sectional area. So friends, this is all about drift current. Now let's discuss about diffusion current. Now friends, what is diffusion current? It is an another type of current that flow in semiconductor device. Now friends, before understanding this diffusion current concept, now let's see what is meant by diffusion. Diffusion is the movement of something from higher concentration to lower concentration. And in this case of diffusion current, it is the movement of charge carriers from a region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration. And this process will cause diffusion current to flow in semiconductor device. And friends, we will understand this concept with the help of small diagram. Here we take it is the p-type semiconductor material and these are the electrons and the electrons number is decreasing as we are moving towards this side. Let this be x distance. So we can see that there is a concentration gradient exists or concentration difference exists as we move towards this side. Now let's see the expressions for diffusion current densities. Here are the formulas for diffusion current density due to electrons and diffusion current density due to holes. And here for free electrons it is denoted by Jn and given as Qdn dn by dx and for holes it is denoted as Jp and it is given as negative Qdp dp by dx where dp and dn are diffusion quotients. And dn by dx and dp by dx are concentration gradients of electrons and holes. Here is the concentration gradient for electrons and here is the concentration gradient for holes. So friends, now let's discuss about total current. Total current is equal to drift current plus diffusion current. Where drift current is caused because of the applied external electric field and diffusion current is caused due to concentration gradient. And the total current expression for n-type semiconductor is given below as it is denoted by Jn and I added these two expressions we have seen recently. This is the expression for drift current for free electrons and this is the expression for diffusion current for free electrons. And similarly, the total current expression for p-type semiconductor is given below and it is denoted by Jp where this is the expression for drift current for holes and this is the expression for diffusion current for holes. So friends, this is all about drift current and diffusion current and total current caused by drift and diffusion current. I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.